different things. And, uh, here's this creek right here. Homegrown country home place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm up here at my brother's uh, farm here in Tennessee, and I just want to bring y'all up here and show you uh, what he's been doing up here. Uh, he just uh, had this well drilled uh, a couple days ago, and this particular well is about 155 feet. And not really sure on the uh, amount of water that uh, that's going to be producing. He, the well driller said like a half a gallon, so uh, that's not going to be enough. But uh, right now, the static water level is about 28 feet below uh, the surface there. So uh, he's going to go ahead and see about drilling. Up here, my brother, he's, he's going to build a shop. Uh, working on a workshop right up in this area right in here and uh, right over here they're gonna see about drilling today another uh, water well see if they can get, uh, maybe uh, drill down and get, get some better water right over here so I was gonna show y'all a little bit of footage of that and uh, y'all uh, y'all probably haven't seen this uh, during the springtime uh, He's been busy doing different things. Um, back up, at, well, back up the end is where I go deer hunting, and uh, right up yonder, y'all can see maybe you got a little cabin back up in the woods up in there, and that's his work pile where he got a lot of. Uh, scrap wood and boy he's been working building different things tables and different things and um, so it's a it's a work in progress uh, he eventually wants to uh, build my house i'm not really sure back up here or back over in here uh, might be uh putting something over there i'm not really sure but uh Right now, I'm going to come down here and show you this little greenhouse we put together. We brought Austin and goat cart up here, letting them ride a little bit. And uh, this greenhouse he just put together. Uh, got some uh, tomato plants right here. Got started. And he'll be putting these out uh, before too long. And... Uh, I think he said he might have maybe, I don't know, $90 in this uh, greenhouse here. He just made out of uh, some scrap cedar pieces and uh, some PVC pipe and some plastic. So pretty much all the money was in just the plastic and the uh, PVC pipe. And uh, these tomato plants, they're looking real good. He told me that he's... Uh, got plenty of them he's gonna let me take some back with me when I go back home there and uh, show you all that right there you got a good start on them we're gonna walk on down here to the uh, creek down here show y'all a little creek down here I don't know if y'all can see the creek from up here down there but, uh, we're just gonna walk on down the road here and uh, he got a little place he cleaned out down here we'll we can walk down through here and take a look at the little creek running through here a little bit closer there
What you think about this, Bubba? Good. Good. You anything else that's good to say about it? You like coming up here and visiting your uncle? Mm -hmm. How about riding that goat cart? You got plenty of room to ride your goat cart down through here, don't you? Mm -hmm. He's a man of many words. <laughs> This road here, like I say, he's got a lot of maintenance. He's gonna have to do, you know, keep on it. Um, I forgot how many truckloads of rock that he had hauled in to uh, get this road started down through here. And y'all can see, yeah, still gonna require a lot, a lot more upkeep. And he's wanting to buy my tractor four wheel drive tractor because this property is hilly and uh, but you got some a real nice deer on this property, real big deer. And uh, I mean, well, actually, there's a deer right down yonder at the barn crossing the road. Look, Bubba, come here. I don't know if y'all can see that deer walking down yonder at the road there. See that, Bubba? Here they're uh, there. There are a lot of them down here. Let's see if we get a little close look at this deer. looking at us right there that deer there's a couple of them right there yeah. we're just talking about deer and they're there right there early this morning eating but uh Right here, we're gonna walk down on here. See this creek down here. Give y'all a little bit better view. Yeah, he's got a <clears throat> little path. He's been uh, dipping this water out of this creek to wash the dishes and stuff in. So when they get the well uh, all taken care of, that's gonna help them out a lot there. They just got a little path down through here. I think it's starting to try to rain. Is that rain, Bubba? I believe it is. A few sprinkles of rain there. <clears throat> so here's this creek right here. A little section up right here. I say it runs all down. His property lying down through here. Real nice little. And it's a spring fed creek, he said. That water's real cool. Um, put your hand in it. It's pretty cold there. 
and it comes out of I think you said it's coming out of the um come here say it's coming out of like a little cave or a little um place in the ground but that's where the creek starts from it's real clean running little creek there you can see down through there Bubba was you wanting uh, to get in the creek maybe today or tomorrow and uh, go swimming in here mm -hmm. yeah uh, right down in here I think it's about I don't know it looks like it might be about three three feet deep three and a half feet deep right in this particular area here and I think he said it's got another spot might be a little bit deeper but uh, we're gonna let Austin get in here and I'll, I'll probably get in there too play around but uh, just want to show y'all uh, some of his property this morning uh, All right, so I want to show y'all he got couple of beehives right here he's fixing to go in here and I think he's gonna do some cleanup on it uh, I don't know much about these bees and he got a little smoker deal here he's, he's fixing to uh, calm them down I reckon maybe I shouldn't be getting so close to him what you think oh you can't get too close to them they'll, they'll let you know uh, yeah I'm Stand back. A lot of people don't use gloves, but I guess that's when you get a little more comfortable with them. I'm, I'm still taking extra precautions. So I'm here to do some cleanup for being an inexperienced beekeeper. I, I let my uh, my box go a little too long i was giving them a little too much space and bees when they start out they're wanting to really get their colony healthy and going and if you're not careful you go too long a period of time they'll build up their own comb because they naturally just go up so if you don't have your uh your um supers in there your frames framed out they're going to do what they do they build up so you'll see on the inside once I take it off what they do when you don't stay on top of things well let me smoke it first just get a little smoke So you didn't put your frames in there. They're in the bottom. They're in the, the bottom. Box, just not in this <clears throat> top box. So what you got to clean off? I got to clean that out and this too. Huh. Both of them. I'm gonna clean this and last. So what? So the what you gonna do about them uh, bees on there? I want to inspect to make sure that the queen is not in here. She's marked. She's marked, she has a, a big yellow dot in the center. She's a big bee. And uh, just looking at this, I don't see the queen. So she's not in here. So that tells me she's either in that mix or on down in the brood chamber. Mm -hmm. Matter of just, I'm gonna set these to the side and I'm gonna get them out first, shake them down in there. And then I'm gonna shake all these once I have that clean, that makes it quicker. Right. I'll actually shake them off instead of smoking them off. Mm -hmm. I'll just take it and shake them. I just want to make sure she's not, I don't kill the queen, because if I kill the queen, my hive is gonna swarm. Mm. They're gonna, that'd be the end of that. Um, 
but um, see how they build their own little comb. Now we, we're not throwing a comb away. We'll take that and we can make beeswax with this and mm -hmm. different stuff, lip balm, different stuff. Mm -hmm. So it won't be thrown away. Um, but boy, they they get with it, don't they? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll go ahead and let you get started on that. See the larva? Mm -hmm. See the larva? Yeah. See it? That's, that'd be new bees. So when I pick this frame off to clean this off, she's down in there. I can pull my frames out and inspect them one at a time. Having fun? Yes. Yeah. Up here, my brother's property, this little thing called a little Indian Creek, a spring creek. And uh, Austin wanted to come out here and walk around in it here. He having fun out here today. You come over here, right here where Daddy's at. Is it deeper right here, right in front of him? Walk up in there. How deep is it right in there? A little above your knees, not too deep, is it? Real quick, just real quick. Go. Go, Go. all the way down, all the way. <laughs> all the way. Come on, you can do it. One, I'm gonna count three. One, two. Three, go! <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. One more time. One, two, three, go! <laughs> this time, go, buddy. This time, I go three and stay down. One, two, three, go! There you go. Yeah. 